Leaving the weather behind, the household cavalry have swapped Cyprus for the grey skies of Bulford Camp. Greeted by Princess Anne, hundreds of personnel are recognised after almost half a year on Op Tosca. That's Britain's contribution to the UN peacekeeping force patrolling 24-7 along the buffer zone that separates the Greek and Turkish parts of the island. On their deployment, three of them were assaulted by Turkish Cypriot forces as they tried to stop the construction of an unauthorised road. Uh, quite a, a strenuous tour, uh, all, all in all. It was a highly complex operating environment uh, that we dealt with uh, across the Mobile Force Reserve and the operations company. Uh, the incidents were uh, in themselves the most kinetic that had been that had taken place in the buffer zone in over 20 years. The British troops that we had there, and particularly those from the Household Cavalry, uh, were absolutely exemplary uh, in, in the manner that they were able to react uh, under immense pressure uh, from, the, from the opposing forces uh, to prevent a serious uh, and potentially fatal escalation of violence in the buffer zone. We came back from the jungle and everybody was expecting it to be a sunshine tour, sitting by the, the sunbeds, by the pool, but it turned out it was a complete opposite and everybody really enjoyed it. And like all the junior lads in the squadron, they've, everybody's developed from like bottom to top in that role under pressure, which was great. As a squadron, uh, working as a mobile force reserve, it was good to actually put reconnaissance into action and go into a proper OPs against organised crime groups watching out for human trafficking, drug smuggling and uh, other parts in the buffer zone, which was great getting the actual work to do it instead of just doing it on solitary playing. Glad to be back, around 260 troops in blue berets paraded before the Princess Royal, family and friends, and to the tune of their regimental band. There's even a glimpse of things to come. Joining them on the parade square, the Army's new Ajax vehicle, central to their upcoming training. We will maintain our role as armoured cavalry, as reconnaissance specialists. However, we're completely developing uh, the new doctrine, tactics, techniques and procedures to keep the armoured cavalry role and shape it to the new vehicle. I'm looking forward to getting into a wagon that works. <laughs> so I'm going to get on a PV, get some hot water on it and get around the country, get around the world in the wagon. It should be decent. Months of vehicle familiarisation will be followed by deployment to Scandinavia in the new year. Tom Sables, Forces News, Salisbury. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.